Hey gamers, today I'll be trying to answer a question which is often asked in the Roblox Flight Simulator community. Project Flight or Flight Line? I will be decided with 10 different factors. Here is a list of them now. Before I start, I would just like to make it clear that these are my opinions. In both games, you are greeted by music and a main menu. The upbeat music and bright menu of Project Flight is more appealing than the dark menu and the subtle flightline melody playing in the background. Both menus are easy to navigate. Project Flight mainly has pictures with big text and Flightline has icons which are very easy to understand. Project Flight looks very nice and bright and Flightline looks very professional. I'll have to split this point as personally I like both and cannot give a proper answer. Project Flight has 15 different aircraft and Flightline has only 8. However, Flightline only has a passenger aircraft and Project Flight has a mix of passenger, general and military aircraft. Let's ignore the general and military aircraft as the majority of people fly passenger anyways. Now, we have 9 aircraft in Project Flight and 8 in Flightline. Personally, I really like the 757 and at the time of editing this video I am cruising over the Atlantic on my way to Tenerife in a United 757 which Flightline has. A lot of people in my comment section often ask about the 747, which once again Flightline has. Despite Project Flight having a larger aircraft selection, Flightline has more aircraft which I always like to fly. I think that cockpits on some of the Flightline models look absolutely atrocious like with the A330. Apart from that, I would say that Project Flight and Flightline have very good models with similar levels of detail. Both are animated and they use high quality meshes for their liveries. For this comparison, we will use the Airbus A320 because the 77 has both of its have. Project Flight has the option for you to get into someone else's plane, however there is no interior. Meanwhile, in Flightline, there are animated cockpits which kind of counts an interior. Project Flight is working on cockpits but they are not in game just yet. In Project Flight, you do not have a choice to turn on certain lights or engines, the game just selects all of the options at once. In Flightline, you have a control panel where you can pick which lights you want to use along with which engines you want to turn on and more. This point goes to Flightline with ease. Project Flight planes handle decently and it is quite common that the developers have to re-script the physics for the planes. However, the planes in Flightline feel very heavy and sometimes can be hard to control. I think Project Flight is better in terms of handling. Both games have Discord roleplay communities and air traffic control towers along with the option to simply be a person and plane spot. There are a lot of opportunities in both games, however, the Project Flight roleplay community seems to be more active so they get the point. Flightline has free planes and free access to ADC, but Project Flight has lots of paid planes and paid ADC. In my opinion, this is good as there is more variety in aircraft as people don't fly the same plane because it is free. Paid ADC also prevents trolls in my opinion, which makes it just a tad bit more professional. Flightline obviously gets a point for price, but Project Flight is early access so you really get what you pay for. Project Flight map has more airports and they are based off of real life airports and islands. The islands have different biomes which is nice. Meanwhile, in Flightline, it looks like it's just two rectangles split with a big river. There is no biome diversity with grass everywhere. It is mainly flat except the city and a couple of mountains near Wellensville Square. Big thanks to Agua for suggesting this video, and another big thank you to Gigas for being my first channel member. Thanks for all the support. Let me know in the comments if you'd like to see any other video ideas, and feel free to join my Discord server. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.